I graduated from high school May 27, 2017. As with every other bright and ambitious high school senior, I was ready for the next chapter of my life, college. By then, everyone pretty much had where they were going figured out. Some friends chose to go far away, some chose to stay close. But one thing was for sure, I wanted out of my hometown. The quote unquote typical college experience was something that always caught my attention. In high school, I was the stereotypical extrovert, student body president, student section leader, the whole nine yards. I love being around people. I love being around and leading big events. And I wanted to be just a regular college kid to experience the joys that the movies hyped it up to be. But then I got a letter that changed my life forever. A fairly new BSMD program popped up at the small undergrad university in my hometown. Guaranteed acceptance into med school. At 17, it was a dream come true. Or was it? <sighs> so, this is my friend Jacob. Say hi, Jacob. Hello. <laughs> so, he's been basically one of my best friends since how long have we known each other? I ain't known each other since, what was it, second grade? Yeah. And we've gone to the same elementary school, middle school, high school. I ended up being captain on the football team. You were captain of the student section. I mean, so we've been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and for as long as I can remember, you've always had you know, the dream of being a youth pastor one day. And for me, you know, I've wanted to be a doctor yeah. for a pretty long time. That's right. And so kind of our childhood plan, our dream was to grow up, go through school together, uh, go through college together, have fun, room, room uh, in the same dorms, have that typical college experience. And then I end up in med school and he ends up as a youth pastor. Things are, you know, sunshines and rainbows. And we actually had the chance to make that happen. Uh, we both got into the University of Georgia. Um, I got a few scholarships and I fell in love with the city of Athens. So, I mean, we could have done it. It seemed yeah. pretty simple and straightforward, right? That's what you would think. I knew the opportunity that the program gave me, but 17-year-old me was just thinking about the moment. Going to this tiny school with no sports, with little to no community, no friends, and to literally sign my life away to seven more years of living in my hometown? It sounded like social suicide. After little to no consultation and with completely selfish intentions, I committed to the University of Georgia. And I mean like all the way. I had the commitment socks on during prom and everything. Ugh, yikes. To my parents' dismay, I told them that I was c committing to being just a regular college student with friends, football, and parties instead of being a practically admitted medical student right out of high school. I made that decision on May 1st, 2017. I paid the commitment deposit, me and Jacob set up housing, but for some reason I felt so uneasy about it. My parents kept bugging me to reconsider and the program manager kept calling and emailing me even though I already told her I was committed to another school. Finally, one day, and I still don't know why, I accepted a meeting with the program manager. We sat and talked for forever and she was enthusiastically showcasing how my small university actually had a lot of opportunity. I said I would think about it. Days passed, weeks passed, and the deadline to accept my BSMD program offer also passed. These two forks in the road emerged in front of me. One on the surface looked much more appealing than the other, but as I thought about it and wondered where I'd be in the next four years, only one gave me my childhood dream for sure. I called the program manager back a week after the acceptance deadline was and 
To my surprise, she excitedly helped me fill out all the paperwork and let me back into the program. I gave up my spot, but she welcomed me back like the prodigal son. I got a second chance at my future. So, I told you I was switching. Um, how did you react? Well, you know, at first, I didn't really know how to, how to feel, how to, how to think about it. But you know, really, once it came down to it, I kind of understood that, you know, this is all happening for a reason. And that, you know, God placed you on that track for a reason, and He didn't put you at UGA for a reason. And so once I started to think about that, it became a little bit more clear to me that this was the right thing to do for both of us. And like, honestly, I, I thought you were gonna be completely pissed off at me because, you know, I was walking out on uh, not just you, but basically kind of what we dreamt of as kids growing up. Yeah, and it, it seemed like that at first. But after I thought about it for a little bit longer, I just realized that, you know, you weren't supposed to be at UGA with me for some reason, even though that was our dreams. And we could reach our dreams through separate avenues and come to them in the end anyways. And, you know, I really thought that what you needed the most would be for me to support you in that decision and for you to be able to feel the love and comfort of a friend who knows that God's putting you in the place you need to be. I'm a firm believer that everyone ends up exactly where they need to be in life. In a mysteriously beautiful way that only God could really orchestrate. And honestly, both of our lives serve as a testimony for that. Three years from that decision. I graduated early from UGA, and I'm working as a full-time youth pastor. And I graduated in three years, and I'm beginning medical school in just a few weeks. And, you know, of course, we always talk about the what-ifs. Like, what if you didn't change your mind and went to UGA? He would have still probably graduated in three years and I would be left alone trying to go the hard way to med school. Uh, we just really would never know. But man, look at how far we've come and how it all worked out. So I think the moral of the story is, don't be afraid to make the hard decision. Trust in your gut. Good friends will be there for you in the end and they'll understand and even share in your sacrifice to chase your dreams. By the end of it all, you'll end up exactly where you need to be. In the words of Robert Frost,